Hi, welcome to this Corp Mouse video. In this video, we're going to look at nets. So we're going to look at what a net is. We're going to look at some nets of some 3D ships. And then we're going to look at some typical questions involving nets. So first of all, what is a net? A net is a collection of two-dimensional ships that whenever you fold it will form the faces of a three-dimensional ship. So this, for instance, is the net of a cube. Whenever we fold these six squares, it will form the six faces of the cube. Okay, let's have a look and see why this is the net of a cube. So here we've got this square, and this square would be the base of the cube. So the face at the bottom of the cube would be this square. Then these four squares, this one, this one, this one, and this one, when we fold those up, they will be the four sides of the cube. So this one would be the face at the front of the cube. This square would be the face on the right-hand side of the cube. This square would be the face on the back of the cube. And this square would be the face on the left-hand side of the cube. And then finally, we've got this square. That would fold over to be, whenever we fold this side up, this square would then fold over to be the top. So that would be the face on the top of the cube the lid of the cubes okay so this is the net of a cube and it's very useful to learn that and to know what that looks like now there are different versions of the net of a cube but this is quite a common one okay let's have a look at another 3d shape okay let's have a look at our next 3d shape so we've got a cuboid and the net of a cuboid would look something like this now depending on the cuboid it may consist of six rectangles or it might have squares such as this one it's got a square on the right hand face and the left hand face but this would fold to be the six faces of a cuboid so we've got the face at the bottom of the cuboid this one would be the face at the bottom this rectangle would fold up to be the face at the front of the cuboid. This rectangle would fold to be the face on the back of the cuboid. This square would fold up to be the face on the right hand side of the cuboid. This square would fold up to be the face on the left hand side of the cuboid. And finally, this rectangle, once you folded this rectangle up to be the back, this rectangle would fold over to be the top, the top face of the cuboid. And that's it. So that is the net of a cuboid. So let's have a look at our next 3D shape and its net. So our next 3D shape is a square-based pyramid. So a square-based pyramid consists of a square on the bottom, and then it's got four triangles that fold up to meet at the top at this apex. So here, the net would look like it would have a square. That would be the base. That would be the face at the bottom of the square-based pyramid. And then we would have our four triangles. And whenever you folded those, they would all meet at the point at the top of the pyramid. So that would be the net of a square-based pyramid. It would be a square with four triangles. Okay, now let's have a look at a triangular prism and its net. So here's our triangular prism. As you can see, we've got a triangle at the front of it and a triangle at the back. The, we've got a rectangle on the bottom and a rectangle on the right-hand side and the left-hand side. So the faces are a triangle, a triangle, a rectangle, a rectangle, and a rectangle. And this would be its net, where we've got the rectangle on the base. We've then got the two triangles, which would fold up to be the triangle at the front and the back. And then we've got our two rectangles, which would fold up to meet at the top of the triangular prism. So this would be the net of a triangular prism, where we've got our rectangle on the base, the two triangles, and then the two rectangles, which would fold up to be the sides of the triangular prism. Okay, let's have a look at our next 3D shape. So our next 3D shape is a cone, and look at its net. So this is our cone, and it has got a circular base, and it has got this curved face. So we have got the net of the cone. It's got the circle, which is the circular base of the cone, so the face at the bottom of the cone. And then we've got this sector, and this sector folds around to be this curved face. So this line would join up with this line, and it would fold around to be this curved face. And that's it. So this is the net of a cone. So our next 3D shape is a cylinder. So here we've got a cylinder. We've got a circular face at the bottom and a circular face at the top. And then we've got this curved face going around the outside. And this is the net of a cylinder. Well, we start off with a rectangle and we roll it round and it will form the curved face going around the outside of the cylinder. And then we've got a circle for the top and a circle for the bottom. So there are the circular faces on the top and the bottom of the cylinder. So this is the net of a cylinder, a rectangle with a circle on the top and a circle on the bottom. Okay, so we've looked at the nets of some 3D shapes. So we've looked at the net of a cube, so those six squares. We've looked at the net of a cuboid, so the six rectangles, or sometimes including squares, but six rectangles. Then we have got our square-based pyramid. So that square with the four triangles is the net of the square-based pyramid. We've got our net of our triangular prism, so our rectangular base, our two triangles, and our two rectangles that fold up. We've got the net of a cone, so that's going to be the circle, with then the sector, which folds round to be the curved surface of the cone. And we've got our cylinder, so that's a rectangle, which folds round to be the curved face of the cylinder, with a circle on the top and a circle on the bottom. So they're the nets of some common 3D shapes. Now let's have a look at some questions based on those. So here's our first question. So we've been given this grid, and on this grid is the net of a 3D ship. And as you can see, it's got two triangles, and it's got a rectangle, another rectangle, and another rectangle. So it's got three rectangles and two triangles. And we've been asked to circle the ship that this is the net of. 
So as you can see, that would be the base. We've got the two triangles which fold up, and then we've got the two rectangles which just fold to meet at the top of the triangular prism. So that is the net of a triangular prism. It's not the net of a cylinder. It's not the net of a square based pyramid, because that would be a square with four triangles. And it's not the net of a cuboid. So it's the net of a triangular prism. OK, next question. OK, let's have a look at our next question. So our next question says, below is the net of a solid. So we've got this net, and it consists of six squares. So I'm automatically thinking it's going to be the net of a cube. And that will be our answer, is it is the net of the cube. And we're asked, what is the name of the solid? So this is the net of a cube. So I'm just going to write that down. It's the net of a cube. And let's have a look and see why. Now, this is a bit different than the net I've showed you. And there are different versions of the net of a cube, as long as they fold around to make the cube. So we have got our face in the bottom of the cube. So let's call this the face in the bottom of the cube. This square would fold up to be the face in the front of the cube. This square and this square would both fold up to be the faces on the sides of the cube, so the left-hand face and the right-hand face of the cube. Once this one folds up to be the left-hand face of the cube, then this square would fold over to be the top of the cube, the, the face on the top of the cube. And then once this one's on top, this square would then fold around to be the face on the back of the cube. But in this question, we're asked to write down the name of the solid, so the name of the solid would be a cube. So let's have a look at our next question. So next question says, here are the nets of two solids. So we've got net one and net two. And we're asked, what are the names of the two solids? So in other words, whenever we fold up these nets, what 3D shapes will we make? So this net, net one, that is the net of a square base pyramid. We've got our square base, and then we've got our four triangles which fold upwards. So that is a square base pyramid. And our next net, well, this net is the net of a cylinder. We've got our rectangle, which folds round to be that curved face of the cylinder. And then we've got the circle for the top and the circle for the base. So that is going to be the net of a cylinder. OK. OK, let's have a look at our last question. So our last question says, Kaylee has sort of drawn the net of a cuboid. Complete the net. So this is the start of the net of a cuboid. And we've been asked to complete the net of the cuboid. And we know it's not complete because there's only two rectangles. And we're going to need six. So we have got this rectangle, this larger rectangle. I'm going to let that be the base of the cuboid. So that's going to be the base of my cuboid. And it is a rectangle. And it's one, two, three, four, five, six squares along. And it's one, two, three, four squares wide. So it's a six by four rectangle. And then we've got this rectangle. I'm going to say that's the front face of the cuboid. So whenever I fold this rectangle upwards, it's going to be the front face. And it is a six by one rectangle. So that's going to be the front face. This is the base. I'm now going to draw the back face of the cuboid, so the, the face on the back of the cuboid. So that's going to be the same as the front. So it's going to be a six by one rectangle as well. So six by one. So one up and six across. And then it would look something like that. So we would have our base. And we would have the face on the back of the cuboid and the face on the front of the cuboid. Now we've got our base, our back, and our front. Now let's get the top, the lid of the cuboid. So I'm going that be identical to the base of the cuboid. So it's going to be a six by four rectangle as well. So let's draw that above here. So one, two, three, four, and six across, like so. And that would be the base, the front, the back, and the lid of the cuboid. So we've now got four of the faces. We just need two more faces, the left-hand face and the right-hand face. So if we go back to our base, we're going to need a face that is on the left-hand side and the right-hand side. And whenever we fold up the front and the back, you can see the cuboid would have a height of one square. So that means that our left-hand face would be a four by one rectangle. So it would look something like this, where it's one across and four long, like so. And the same on the right-hand side. And that's it. So that would be the net of the cuboid, where we've got the base, we've got the back, the front, the left, and the right, and the lid. And that's it. So that is the net of the cuboid. So in this video, we've looked at what a net is. So the net is a collection of 2D shapes that will fold together to make the faces of a three-dimensional shape. We've looked at some common nets, and it's very important to know those. The net of a cube, so those six squares. The net of the cuboid, six rectangles, may include some squares. We've got then our net of our square base pyramid. So that's the square base with the four triangles. We've got our net of our triangular prism. So the rectangular base, the two triangles, and the two rectangles that fold up. So those three rectangles and two triangles. We've got our net of our cone. So the circle plus a sector, which folds round to be that curved face. We've got the net of a cylinder. So that's rectangle, which, which folds around to be the curved face of the cylinder, plus the two circles being the top and the bottom of the cylinder. And that's it. So I really hope you find this video useful. If you have found it useful, please like it. Please subscribe to the YouTube channel. And thanks so much. Cheers. Bye.